Welcome to a fight night that concentrates on four area champions. Topping tonight's bill at the Barnsley Civic Hall is one of the real crowd pleasers, Costas Petru, the Midlands area welterweight champion. Petru, born in Liverpool but now based in Birmingham, meets Paul Mitchell of Leeds, the central area champion, but at a different weight at light middle. Petru, known as the Greek tank, has only lost one of his last 17 contests, and he is the official contender now for the British title, so he knows what he's got to do here. I'm going to try to really impress, like, you know, so that's... I know Sylvester Mitty's amongst there, and he's come to watch me, so Sylvester Mitty knows who's going to be the next British champion, otherwise he wouldn't have bothered to come here. So I'm going to show him, and I'll be ready for him anyway. Petru's performance in just a moment. Later in the programme, we also have the meeting of two light heavyweight champions, Ian Lazarus of Leeds against Antonio Harris of Birmingham. But it's Petru against Mitchell as we join our commentators at ringside, the former lightweight champion of the world, Jim Watt, and with him as usual, Reg Gutteridge. So there's the rundown then, Costas Petru, the Greek tank, born in Liverpool, but uh, virtually fight-based and brought up in Birmingham. And always in colourful fights that we've seen along the line. And as you can see, he got a good record. He actually started off with a loss. Uh, so it needs a bit of spirit, ready to come back from that and uh, to become the area champion. Paul Mitchell then comes uh, out of Leeds, virtually a local fighter, really, from uh, as we're in Barnsley, just up the road. And scheduled for 10 rounds, this world away scrap. So now let's see whether the nicknamed Greek tank Costas Petru is going to really march forward he's been in exciting fights lately but uh, Paul Mitchell knows his business and in terms of record ages weights there's very little between them actually Petru at 25 is just a year older and Petru won his way through the eliminators now to be in a position to challenge Lloyd Hannigan and he's got on a more than a possible opponent at ringside tonight actually as guest of honor Sylvester Mitty the new Commonwealth champion at world to wait Paul Mitty will just come into the winning frame as they say won his last fight against Wayne Crowler in Manchester and uh, previously lost three in a row. Well, the best win, I thought, was when he defeated Martin Patrick on points in London, who's now the Southern Area champion. I wouldn't have thought of a really hard hitter at the World Awake limit, but very capable. Jim, what we've seen uh, Costa Petru quite a bit is he, he gives value for money, as the old-fashioned promoters used to say. He always gives value for money, yeah. The, the last time I saw him box was uh, against Lloyd Christie. He won that night. And I thought a couple of times I was a bit hesitant, but he's starting to pretty positively tonight. Yes, he, he went down against Christie, but got uh, back and won. That's Lloyd, of course, and not Errol. Right back in his amateur days, I was a win on his card that impressed me when he outpointed Chris Pyatt. So a minute to go in the opening round then. There's plenty of body to hit there with Petru. He, he looks as though he can get underneath those long arms of Petru and just tuck himself inside. Sometimes a slow starter. Originally, it was Jeff Pegler that was going to fight uh, Petru, but uh, without knowing the result, obviously, at this stage, I would have thought Mitchell was probably a better opponent, because Pegler had lost a few fights. Flicks that out well, Jim. Yeah, he gets a nice bit of distance on his jab. He steps forward, steps in with a jab. Yeah, but Petru started well. He's keeping nice and tight. He's drawing the lead and uh, throwing some nice counter. They're into the last 10 seconds then on the countdown clock there. So just some advice from the crowd, make those jabs count, Paul. So Costas Petru there, with the very enthusiastic manager there is uh, Pat Lynch from Birmingham. Wayne. 
fourth round. And really cost us the true from Birmingham in a position now where he just cannot afford to lose positions. Because if he's going to get a championship shot, uh, the board of control can always mark time with the contender if he loses an overweight contest. Got a shift four pounds for true when he does fight for the championship. Some good punches there though. Oh yes, opening up well there. He, he tumbled at Mitchell, had a reasonably good end to the last round. And he wants to come in and take the play away right at the start of this one. If Petru really sustained this aggressive this Jim, he'd he really would be a difficult fighter to hold, wouldn't he? Well, he's putting punches together very well tonight. He's, uh, he's putting punches together a lot better than, than Mitchell is. So I think Mitchell will be well advised to try and keep the fight at long range. He's managing to do that at the moment, but not with any effect of punches. Just simply by being shifted in his feet. Uh, as soon as Petru gets inside, he's letting some nice punches go. Mitchell just marked a little bit around the left eye. The sort of right-hand punch we saw then may have caused that. The true style might be uh, predictable, but it's also pretty effective. Yeah, but he's not really doing too much wrong. We can't fault him for getting caught with a jab as he comes in because Mitchell has a pretty fair jab and uh, he does come in straight head on. But once he gets in, he's doing some nice work. So Mitchell absorbs a fair punch, although I understand Blaine Longson is a full middleweight had him over. But against welterweights, I would have thought by the look of it, he takes a good shot. Well, I've been looking at his eyes closely a couple of times, but he's landed cleanly, and he hasn't been shaking at all. He's obviously in pretty good shape, and he seems to take a good punch in the chin. Well, good exchange then with hooks. And he's very wide-eyed, isn't he, Mitchell? He really opens it wide, making sure he misses nothing, right? like a cat prowling, looking for the prey there. got the garden spray there and <laughs> they keep the pest away but in fact it's the the modern way of putting the sponge on you know i don't think terry loyalist was quite as efficient as that he threw the old water all over there. let's have a look at the replay there jim early in the round this was there it is yeah well Petru's line, all, all the way through Petru's land the good punches and he's always pushing mitchell back whenever they can and he's putting some nice stuff behind the, the elbows, as you can see here. Petru's boxing well. He's taking a couple of jabs as he comes in, but uh, that's just his style. Sixth round. Just to re-identify then, it's Costas Petru in the gold trunks against Paul Mitchell from Leeds. Petru, Liverpool born, out of Burke. It really has been typical Greek, Greek tank then for True, steaming on, trying to go for Mitchell's body. Mitchell using the ring with a good left hand jab, but on the sheer volume of punches, Petru's ahead. And Petru, remember now, first in line for a crack at the Worldweight Championship held by Lloyd Hunnigan of the Terry Lawless Stable. And uh, a more than interested best bib and tucker ringsider here is Sylvester Mitty, who only last night became the new Commonwealth champion at this weight. 
not much uh, problem with that left eye. It's a kind of graze around the edge of it, Jim Paul Mitchell. Yeah, I think maybe the inside of the glove is just grazed by his eye and they lifted the skin a little bit, but it's not bleeding, it's not actually a cut. Mitchell must be in fair shape. He's taking some stick around the ribs without buckling. He's in good shape, yeah. He must be in good shape because he's, he's always ready to fire back. He's always been having the worst of things, but he's always ready to try and fire back. These little spurts have been certainly the better boxer of the two, but he doesn't manage to keep it up or perhaps punch hard enough to keep Petru off. And now, in fact, it is bleeding. Uh, Mitchell's left eye. It's strange we should say that, but that's the first actual sign of the drop of blood anyway. It's quite minor. It actually looks in a slightly different place from the greys. I think it's a fresh cut, actually, Ridge. minute to go in round six as that happened yes I think you're right it is in a different position wherever it is it's uh, not too healthy for you young Mitchell desperation in Mitchell's boxing he, he, he's obviously aware now that he's got a bit of the, the trouble around the left eye not that the seconds probably won't be able to patch that up very quickly but it uh, must distress the boxer a bit when he's not in front anyway but I like the way he sneaks the left hand punches just the same Is the countdown clock to the end of the set. So let's uh, have a word again then with Sylvester Mitty at ringside. Sylvester, would you fancy fighting for truth? Yes, I would. Cost is um, he's proving to be one of the danger men of the division. And at the moment, I've just won my Commonwealth title. And we'll be thinking about defending it against somebody worthy, someone like Costas Petro. And um, I I'm looking forward to the encounter with Relish. What do you think of this fight, Sophie? Well, I think Costas is fighting the right fight with um, Mitchell. He's putting a lot of sustained pressure, and he seems to be paying dividends. Now, it also appears that Mitchell has got a nick on his eye, although it's only seeping blood now. So Costas could possibly exploit the situation and really go for it. <laughs> Ninth round. And the pattern resumes. Yeah. The forward roll by the tank there, Petru. Sort of sharper type of boxing coming from Mitchell, but uh, probably not landing enough punches. trying to do really well for uh, the first television showings in his own area. Well, for true, trying to turn it on in the last couple of rounds, obviously. Hesitating, Jimmy he knows exactly what's going to happen with this fellow. He's not going to run back. He's in a difficult situation. He's well behind in points, and uh, I don't think he, he feels he has the power to knock the true out. He's so maybe just hoping to see the rounds through, get off a good show, which he certainly does. And we're halfway through the ninth, then. Bad punch there by Petru, really 
instead of uh, storming in and throwing anything. He was trying to pick a punch or two. Very easy to do that when on the safe side of the ropes. But referee really hasn't had much trouble. He's had break clean boys there, but he really hasn't had any trouble at all with them. It's been a good clean fight. Very little holding, Jim. Yeah, but he's never been seen throughout the fight. It's been a real good fight. And when they're inside, they're clinching all the time. No clinching at all. Yeah, the referee's making his money easy tonight. some replay Jim at the beginning of this round there this is where he was really trying to pile in for true there you almost better duck out the way before you get caught with them well they patched this lad up okay considering he's uh, been on the receiving end of it he doesn't look too bad at all it's just that mark around the left eye and you're wondering whether he'll come out and throw it all in this last round and take his chances Final round then, in the formal shake hands, and a decent bit of applause from the Yorkshire crowd as well. Encouraging these lads. It's always good to see that. Costas for true, as I said earlier just cannot afford to lose a contest at this stage because he's really on the brink of the title chance. And uh, Sylvester Mitty saying, well, if he's so uh, as planned, who knows, for true might, might actually get his shot at him. Petru would prefer somebody that's going to come at him with a similar style, oh, Jim. This fellow's a little bit cagey. Well, Mitchell knows he's well behind in points. He's losing the fight. He just doesn't doesn't see any point taking chances. That was a good left hook from Petru there. That's the first time I've seen him shaking. Mitchell is a good punch. Yeah, really noticed there. minute now this 10 rounder with the forward march from start to finish from Costas to true and Mitchell's certainly never been a runaway fighter but his style dictates that uh, that's how he does it off the back foot a bit the old-fashioned milling on the retreat but not enough of it about 15 seconds to go and uh, if there is a knockdown in the last 10 of course the bell would interrupt the count because it's being the last round 
and uh, a bit of a survival job there by, by Paul Mitchell. And the, the winner, of course, Costas Petru from Birmingham. And what he would describe, I'm sure, as a kind of workmanlike victory, and one that keeps him in there with chances against Lloyd Hunnigan and a sporting clap there for his opponent. And there it is, the update record now, another win for Costas Petru. Well, I thought he won easier than that, but that was the referee's decision, a little bit surprising. Costas Petru's next bout will be for the British title. Well, now